Hi, I am Satya, Assistant Professor, Department of Computer Applications, Kaiser College of Arts and Science, Fireman, Tichungut. Now we are going to discuss about software development with visual programming, Unit 4. Function Procedures, Sub Procedures. A yeah, sub procedure is a seri series of visual basic statements enclosed by the sub and end sub statement. The sub procedure performs a task and then return a control to the calling code, but it does not return a value to the calling code. Sub procedure executes access but does not return value. A sub procedure can accept the same arguments which are constant, variable, or expressions and which are transferred by the calling procedure or not valid in the name. Advanced uses of uses of procedure and functions the advanced advantages of using procedures and the functions are reducing duplicate of the code decomposing complex problems into similar pieces function calculate the result of program on the basics of your given input procedures perform certain tasks in a particular order to on the basic of given inputs function do not provide support for the try catch block improving clarity of the code List one dimensional array. One dimensional array is like a list, uh, list of items or a table that consists of one, uh, one row of items, one, uh, one column of uh, items. For example, if we have array of size 10, then the index of elements range from 0 to 9. We must include data type and variable name while declaring one dimensional array, array in C. Yeah, one dimension array is a group of elements having the same data type which are stored in a linear arrangement under a single variable name. Array with more than one dimension. A multi-dimension array is an array with more than one level or dimension. For example, 2D array or two-dimensional array is an array of array, meaning it's a matrix of rows and columns. A 3D array adds another dimension, turning it into an array of arrays. Multi-dimensional arrays are an extension of 2D matrix and use additional subscript of indexing. A 3D array of example uses three subscript. The first two are just like a matrix, but the third dimension represents page or seats of elements using list and arrays with the functions and procedures. We can use public or dim statement to declare an array just as the way we declare a single variable. The public statement declares an array that can be used throughout an application while the dim statement declares an array that could be used only in a local procedure. A function procedure is a series of visual basic statements enclosed by the function and end, sub end function statements. The function procedure performs a task and then return the control to calling the code. When it returns control, it also returns a value to the calling code. The with statement. By using with end with, you can perform a series of statements on a specified object without specifying the name of the object multiple times. Within uh, within a with statement block, you can specify a member of object starting with a period as if the with statement object precedes it. The with statement allows you to perform a series of statements on a specified object without re requalifying the name of the object. Control arrays. Control arrays are the control sharing a common event handler that is you need to write code for only one event which can handle other controls. Visual basic controls are the column that aim to create a GUI based applications in the VB.NET quickly as well as easily. These are things that you can track to the type using the control toolkit in the IDE. List and compo boxes. Generally, a compo box is appro appropriate when there is a list of suggestion choice. That list box is ap appropriate when you want to limit input what is on the list. The compo box contains a text box field, so choice dot the list can be typed in. The except exception in when the trap down uh, style properties is uh, set to drop down list the list box represents a windows control to display a list of items to a user a user can select an item for the list it allows the program to add item at the design time by using the properties window or at runtime menus the visual basic have two types of menu built-in and shortcut built-in menu built-in menu appear on the menu bar across the top of the visual basic window shortcut menu or menu containing a frequently used com Commands that appear when you click the right mouse button or press plus F10. Menu editor. Menu editor ut utility of VB can be accessed from the tool menu in the form design screen. This utility is used for creating menus. It allows you to create a custom menus for the applications and add, uh, add to the menu editor include a context menu. 
context menu which can be used to directly access possible access depending on the type of item that was clicked. The contest menu can be used to add or remove an item, expand or collapse the list, of, list and provide more specified actions, find their properties. MDA form. MDA stands for the multiple document interface application that allow user to work with the multiple documents by opening more than one document at runtime. Whereas a single document interface application can manipulate only one document at runtime. The MIT application act as the parent and child relationship in a form. A parent from a con container that contains a child form while child form can be multiple to display different modules in a parent form. In VB.NET used for creating a form in M MDA form. A mid parent, the mid parent properties is used to set a parent form to a child form. Active mid child, the active mid child property is used to get the reference of the current child form. Is mid container, is mid container property is a set a boolean value to true that represents a creating of your form as a MDA form. Layout mid function, the layout mid function method is used to arrange the child form is a parent or main form. Controls. It is used to get the reference of the control form and control from the child form.